Hi, this is your host Sapin Bhartia and welcome to our 2022 prediction series and we have with us today once again Etiel Schwartz, CTO and co-founder of Commodore. Etiel, it's great to have you on the show. Hey, happy to be here. Uh, before I ask you to share your prediction, please quickly tell us about the company. Sure. So Commodore is the first and only Kubernetes native troubleshooting platform. That means that we help developers and DevOps that are bombarded with issues around Kubernetes to understand what is currently happening in their cluster and to resolve it as fast as possible. So, you know, if you have any issue with Kubernetes, we allow you to understand the root cause, how did the system behave over time? and basically to allow you to solve issues much faster. Excellent. Now it's time for you to grab your crystal ball and share with us what predictions you have for 2022. Yeah, okay. So the first prediction is that Kubernetes will become de facto standard and like operation system for modern application, very much like Linux for like any application. The second one is that day two operation will make Kubernetes more mature, more enterprise ready, but less sexy. And uh, the third one is that because that the shift left movement, we will see changes in DevOps tools that are going to be more dev oriented. And on the other hand, the dev world is going to move more towards the DevOps. So we are going to see like the two worlds emerge into one dev and DevOps. The day two operation will make Kubernetes more mature and less sexy. I see in a lot of companies, like everyone is moving to Kubernetes. Everyone, from small banks to huge enterprises, you name it, they are on Kubernetes. And that means that we will see more features around monitoring, observability, security, authentication. And I think Kubernetes as the next operation system is going to move slower than it used to move, like the, the core of Kubernetes. And we're going to see the main changes or like Kubernetes is going to change rapidly, mainly around community-based projects that are not the core of Kubernetes, but more of like things you install on top of your cluster. So I think Kubernetes is going to be less stable, right? Like Linux, like they are not changing everything with every new edition of Linux. They are adding things. Uh, but on the other hand, the thing, the community is going to make the ecosystem much stronger and we'll see a lot of things trying to help a mature organization bridge the gap and basically to make Kubernetes more like uh, enterprise ready. Thanks for sharing those predictions. Now, if I ask you, what is going to be the focus of Commodore in 2022? Yeah, so in 2022, we are releasing a very big, big capability inside Commodore named Workflow. And basically we spend dozens, dozens of manpower in researching what are the root causes of a lot of different Kubernetes issues and problems. And that means issues with your service, with the PVC, with the load balancer, with the ingress. We mapped for each one of those issues, we mapped a full like a workflow of what and where should they look at when this issue happens. And now we're taking all of the research that we've done and basically codifying it. So think about having a, like a, the best SRE that you can think about with you when you are trying to solve an issue with Kubernetes. We're going to release it. And for each problem you are going to be facing in your Kubernetes cluster, Commodore will be there. We're running the checks for you. And we are giving you a digested response of this is the root cause. This is where you should look at next. So this is a huge project. And I hope it will be successful in 2022. Excellent. I do trust that it will be successful. Ithiel, thank you so much for taking time out today and talk about the company, your focus, and more importantly, uh, the predictions that you have, especially with the Kubernetes and how it will become kind of uh, what Linux is to the, to the stack. So thanks for those. And I look forward to talk to you again soon. Thank you. Thank you very much.